Welcome everybody back for some more Timberborn. Today is the day we start on a bit of a mega project. So, before the video starts, I hope you guys are enjoying the Week of Timberborn episodes. Um, we've got a drought uh, in coming in 2.7 days. We've got plenty of water, plenty of food. Everything is good to go on that front. Now, after the crisis we had in the last episode, maybe it's not the smartest idea to start on a bit of a mega project. So, first things first. Um, apparently we can't put that there. Oh, I know why. Because we need to demolish a path and put in the district gate. Like so. And then we can put the district centre down in here. So, we need to put the district centre in there. And what we're going to do first is store a bunch of uh, planks and logs in a warehouse that's going to sit. So we need a large, let's see there, let's do a large pile there and here and put these in with logs and these in with planks and uh, these should get built pretty pretty quickly um we do have a little bit of a problem with planks at the moment and that's that i don't think all these buildings are full i don't know maybe they are oh yeah got plenty of planks coming in they are getting sent over to treated to be treated planks though, so So we'll set these to obtain, we'll prioritize these by the haulers. And uh, we'll set um hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll put a big water tank in as well. And uh, we'll probably prioritize that and uh, put water in there. We'll also get in a medium warehouse. Um, put some um, bread in there. I prioritize the building of that too. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to move this district gate to right here. So when I put beavers over here in this district, then they will have basically all the materials that they need to actually build what I require them to build. But obviously, I'm prioritizing these for a lot of uh, things, and they're going to start bringing me logs and planks and stuff. Which is good. And they're going to obtain them from other warehouses and everything. It's going to be a bit crazy. So 400, so I can store like 2,000 planks. And um, I got a bunch of dynamite and stuff nowadays. And yeah, there's a bunch of stuff that I can sort out. Food again, really good. And all that stuff. So while they fill in these with the materials that I actually require, let's start planning out what I want to do down here. It's quite simple, really. I'm going to put in a massive levee wall that goes all the way along here to stop the water from flowing out of the map. But it doesn't really stop there because I have to go to here, which means bringing up this whole thing to there. So I need to bring up this whole wall up to here. But what I have just realized is I don't need to do this. Well, I, I do and I don't at the same time. So what I actually needed to do was just demolish maybe uh, two of these in the center here. I'll do four just so it's... Um, Nice and even. And we'll put in some dams. So, we can now get down to here. Um, I did put in a path in here. 
to start off with, but I actually want to demolish that whole path and uh, start by putting in a path that goes all the way across the top here. And then I'm going to put in um, a triple, two triples, one with a single on top, a double, and another single. Whack in the stairs and the path at the top and just connect that up. So we got a drought that's just income. Um, I don't think I need to... Maybe you can actually stop accepting loads of goods because I'm not going to need too many planks. Um, you can obtain water from other warehouses and you can sort of contain a bunch of that stuff, but... Just need blocks. Yeah, you know I'm gonna do. I'm going to go over here, and these obviously are accepting goods, and this is my log one. So I'm gonna empty this, uh, prioritize that by the haulers, and they will take all of those logs and hopefully put them in here. Yeah, I don't think they're doing what I wanted them to do. It's kind of irritating. To be fair, I do pause these. Um, pause some of them anyway. Pause the ones that are operated by beavers. And, um, yeah. More and more barrel bots are going over here as well. There's now seven over here. I think we need so we can get eight in there, ten in there, so eighteen. We only really want two haulers because they're just gonna haul stuff from here to here. Um, we want a builder as well. So we need 18, 19, 20, 22 watts over here. So what I'll do is I'll set that so it's, it's 22. So they'll send 22 over there, but I want like 12 in the main district. And they have a bunch of materials to do build them. Yes, they just take a long time to build. Food, water, looks good. Right, how is this project going? Right, you can actually fill that. So what I'm going to do is migrate. Um, we're going to have District 8. So let's do 10, nah. we'll do four, be uh, four beavers, and uh, put them all in there, and obviously demolish this, and this, put in a regular path there, and district gate there. That doesn't hurt. Uh, and now they'll start on this big mega project. And unfortunately, I am actually going to need to put in a Oh, it's a um, it's in the labour section. Is it? Is it? Yeah, yeah. A drop off point. Um, 
and just put basically drop off um, water. So I need to send probably food as well to be fair. I'll do water and uh, I'll do bread. Although they should be okay for bread for a, for a little bit. But they're going to start on this big measure project, and uh, I'll see you guys back when they start work on the project. And the mega project begins. They're working away on this big um, dam sort of thing area over here to create a huge uh, reservoir, which will go all the way down to the lowest part. I think I'm going to take all this down here, which has been uh, so up to about here. All this will go down to the lowest it can go in the world. This is going to take a very, very long time. I've got some more builders in here now. Um, we got a forester in. We've got a lumberjack here as well. Because basically, I filled up both this one and this one full of logs, and it still wasn't enough. So I decided I was going to grow some wood, uh, wood, grow some trees over here, and start that process up. I also want to get a uh, a scrap a scrap collector in down here as well. Maybe two. Get two of these guys in. Which means migrating another two beavers. We'll do a couple of beavers to be fair. Can't hurt having some extra ones. Over here, um, I have got the timber bots bringing all the resources over, like wood and stuff like that. Um, we are also running low on wood once again. Um, Unfortunately, it could have something to do with this big project I've got going on down here. Um, I did also try and start a little project over here too. Um, but you guys aren't supposed to have that many logs. Send some back to here. Send all of them back. You're not supposed to have that many logs. You're only supposed to have 50, because I set that as their, their limit. But I guess if they can fill their storage, they can fill their storage full of them. Anyway, I was planning on dynamiting all of this. Which means backfilling all of this and they can get out of the way doing that in fact I'll do that for no time at all still got loads of uh, water logs are going back up did put some uh, bots in here but kind of seems like they uh, had other places to be Oh, we lost a bunch. We do have 32 bots now, though. Which means we have 12 in this district and 20 in this district. Which means we need two more over there. Hmm. Everyone seems to be complaining about water, but we've got loads of water. And lots of medicine. At least we should have old oh, dandelions. Mm. 
anyway, yes, scrap metal collectors. So I'm going to collect all of this scrap metal and put it in a storage that I need to build. That's going to be for. Oh, they can't actually put scrap metal in there. So we'll quickly delete that and we'll put the scrap metal in here. Actually, we need to put the scrap metal in this one. So, empty goods, put scrap metal in that one, and logs in this one. So, they'll start moving all the logs from one to the other. You start filling it up with scrap metal. these trees are going to be done soon too so we can start actually producing some wood over here and, uh, <laughs> building this massive great big wall which is like probably one of my first massive modern mega projects ever in this game so uh, quite proud of this to be fair Everything seems to be going really well. I don't know why there's so many injured beavers. Don't know why we don't have any medicine. If we do, I don't really know where it is. Um, I've actually got a bunch of these in here. Because I want to build up some science. But uh, I know why there wasn't any medicine now, actually, did I? Because we didn't have any dandelions. But now we've got dandelions coming in. Well, we can. Hmm. Well, we can now demolish that one. And this whole thing. Probably that whole thing, too. And then. We can put in a path that goes like that, and then like that. Hmm. I know why it's not letting me do it. It's just annoying that it's not letting me do it. And hopefully both colonies can start building these. They only need logs. So yeah, yeah, than that. Both colonies are going for them. And they're just gonna plant um what are they gonna plant? What do we need to? They can plant some um, carrots. They can find the carrots. And we'll just leave one pot in there because he'll be fine doing all that. Set out the carrots, add a root over here, carrots. There we go. Lots of buildings lack workers because we are, again, once again, running out of beavers. Um, we should have plenty of housing, to be fair. Not too sure. So, oh, we don't have enough houses. We got twelve homeless beavers. Oh, they might be in a different district. So, occupied beds one hundred and forty-nine. 
there's four free beds so we got enough room for four more beavers but that's not really enough annoyingly I've kind of run out of space to put beavers unless I can and I can't platform over uh, crops and stuff hmm or trees in that for that matter <laughs> not good not good at all once I figure out what I'm going to do with the housing situation I'll bring you guys back in so after some more time has passed we've come into the same problem as we've had for a little while now to be fair and quite frankly it's that we don't have enough wood coming in um, I'm not really sure why they're not cutting those trees down because they, they, they can and this guy can reach that area I did also put in this bit of maples up here, uh, which obviously is quite resourceful, but I've got some uh, timber bots working up here. So basically, the problem is, is that we can't get enough wood to progress into making uh, this functional. Um, we are transporting some wood to these guys. Um, with some bread and stuff. I might turn this into a barrel bot area as well. Uh, eventually. Um, all their stuff is actually going to die. Unfortunately. Because they can't get enough water from here. Uh, and these guys actually do have carrots. And stuff to be mined and stuff. So they're going. So I'm shipping back carrots from here. Back to this district. So they're getting a little bit of extra carrots. And stuff. Uh, the scrap metal is also being sent back as well um, to here as well so these guys are getting an endless supply of scrap metal too um, we still got a bunch of buildings that just lack uh, apparently they all lack workers but I was doing these so actually I have an idea if I are doing if that does 10 it does it really quickly I don't need these all these all that one and that is a bunch of logs just laying around for people to go and get the other problem I've got is with the medicine department there is a little 15 injured beavers just dotted around the place and a bottle of out of fuel, but he'll go get fuel, so that's fine. The guys in this district are just plowing along. This guy's dehydrated and starving, um, and I don't really know why, but because there's plenty of food around. Um, but yeah, this, this district's working, it's building away at this massive project, but this is not going to work uh, as it is right now. We need to solve the wood problem, which means we need to make a new district somewhere where there's quite a lot of land that you can make trees and stuff on it. Or the other thing is, is I uh, create a, Ooh, actually that was a good idea. I take the timber bots up here and divine them like this and turn this into a huge maple forest. That, that's actually a good idea. But you'll have to stay tuned to the next episode where we may finish up this big project down here and I might turn this into a massive maple forest. But I hope you guys did enjoy another day of the seven days of Timberborn. Maybe see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>